Hey, what's up you guys? Your boy Crypto B5 here and we are back with another video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the previous videos that I have posted. If you guys have, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you guys can notify when my next video drops. The S4 finally needs some things. First oil change and brakes for the front, not the rear just yet are coming. I ordered the brakes and everything right now. It's currently, what is it? Uh, 6.12 in the morning. I'm chilling in the parking lot. I'm on the Accord. I'm down in LA. We're chilling in the parking lot of Walmart. We're about to go pick up the oil for the S4. And yeah, you guys are gonna come along with me. Now without further ado, you guys already know what time it is. Peace. Good morning, you guys. It's currently the second day um, out of the whole little video clip that I posted that I was posted in LA at the parking lot at Walmart. I did not go in, forgot my wallet. I was rolling without my wallet. I do have Apple Pay, but I just didn't want to risk going in there and then, yeah, I just didn't want to waste my time. So right now, once again in the Honda, because I'm not taking out the BA because I need to fix it. I have to go hit O'Reilly so I could go get the oil filter. And we might have to hit Harbor Freight. The ramps so I could just drive the sucker up there. I know that they do have a a special way of doing it for these dudes they just extract it with one of those pumps let's see if i put a picture of it i am gonna look into buying one but as of now i look you just want to do it the old school way just because i think it's better um i think the oil plug is right on the bottom of the oil pan so get rid of all the old oil that's in it and yeah, put some fresh one uh, get those brakes on and as for his back well, S4 will be back. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the local Walmart up here in Victor Row. Gotta go grab oil. And then after that, I think we might hit O'Reilly's, so we might hit O'Reilly's after. Yeah, stick around. So we are over here checking out the oil. Uh, how much to choose from from the mobile side? Yeah, it's pretty much out of everything. Other than special. Look at that, 22 bucks. Um, so I am actually gonna go with Edge. I think I'll go with this one. I do commute a lot, so I'm debating a bit whether to get high mileage too, since I'm already above 100. Um, I heard about this one on, on forums too. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Never done it. Good luck going into it. I'm just undecided whether we're going black or we're going gold. Uh, I think gold would be my best bet. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. It'd be better off just taking both. So we got. 10 quarts right there. I think we should be good. Okay, so we picked up the oil from Walmart. I uh, picked up the brake cleaner from Walmart. And right now, I just noticed that we're gonna need one of these bad boys. It's a 36 millimeter six point um, oil filter socket. So I could get that oil filter housing off. So I'm gonna see if O'Reilly has it. If not, we're gonna have to go ahead and harbor brake. Problem with that O'Reilly's. Made it to O'Reilly's. I just look at that oil filter. I think that's all I need. Alright, so just got out of O'Reilly's. Grab the filter and I cut this slip in. Oh, to be honest with you, it kind of looks nicer in person than what it did on pictures. Ah, damn it. I always tend to do that. On the B8, all I do is just pull up and and pull it and it unlocks okay so since the V8 is recommended if I'm not mistaken I think it's every 10,000 miles to change the oil me personally on the B5s themselves I was doing uh, I believe it was 35 at 3500 I think it was so for the B8 um, since it's a newer car and whatnot I think I am just gonna go ahead and 
5,000. Every 5,000 miles, I'm gonna be changing the oil, changing the filter. So this is my first. They just grab the car, but I do travel all the way down to Inglewood. So it is pretty far, it's like 200 miles around there every day that I, when I drive it. So we got a Wix filter. They didn't have the Mobile One. And even if they did, I don't know if I would spend the money on the Mobile One. Cause I mean, 5,000 miles is pretty darn fast. Five weeks, if I would drive my car every day down to LA. So yeah, every 5,000 miles, the V8, it's gonna get an oil change and yeah i think we pretty much got everything i also showed you guys the picture we picked up this uh it's not a freaking eighth uh, a three eighths but half an inch will work uh i have multiple freaking um half an inch ratchets and stuff like that so yeah got some now we're about to head back home I'm uh, gonna have a little bit of breakfast and then it's time to think what we're gonna do first if we're gonna do the brakes or if we're gonna do the oil. But I think that low key, the most important thing to do right now is my brakes. My change oil still had around, I think, 400 miles or something like that left. So I still have a little bit of, of playing room. But it is the weekend, so I am gonna try to make sure that I get both of them. But yeah, you guys will definitely see what's going on. All right, so for our next little stop, we are headed to Harbor Freight. I wanna see if I get me some ramps. Like I said, I don't really feel comfortable putting the S4 on those Harbor Freight jack stands. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy me the little ramps just so I can specifically be doing the change of oil on it. And I think in the future, I might see if I look into, like I said before, getting that little one, um, some pump that just pumps the oil out and then put fresh oil in and whatnot but as of now this is what i got and this is what would be the best bet but like i said i just don't feel freaking comfortable putting my s4 and fucking jack or with jack sense. so oh shit it's hard to freaking close the world oh shit it does it close during construction oh then we just got asked out <laughs> it looks like the Harbor Freight right here at Victorville is currently closed. Uh, as much as it sucks, uh, I believe we have another Harbor Freight. Now I'm gonna have to look at the address. So, park real quick. Okay, so I was just about to leave when I actually seen someone. Work on the car.
Oh, I'm sorry for that. Oh, Alright, you guys, so I think we pretty much got everything that, that I needed to get the things done. I did forget to grab the oil deposit container. So I have to go back in right now. I'm gonna go purchase one. I will show it to you guys as soon as I get home. But as now, let's drive. Alright, another one. So I'm gonna show you guys what we bought. Here are my brake vest uh, pads, along with the brake vest rotors, all from O'Reilly's. I did order those online. Here we have the Castro Edge. Uh, they were only like 27 bucks or something like that. So instead of grabbing one and then two of the little ports, I decided to just spend the extra money and just get it. I was just have uh, also went ahead and grab this Wix uh, filter also from O'Reilly's. Uh, did mention that I am gonna set down my oil every 5,000 miles, so bought me some little grease. And we also bought this bad boy, which hopefully I'm about to check if it fits right now. It's gonna work so I could take out that oil cap where the oil filter set. Also bought this, Harbor Freight Tools. Um, according to this thing, it's for 8.5 quarts, or this is right there, 18.5 quarts vertical. So we are going to try this out. Uh, it's pretty messy to get the oil done on this thing. You guys will see why on the video when we're getting it done. Went ahead and purchased the ramps because I mean, between this one and this one to do a change of oil I think will be a lot faster than bringing out my my orange Hummer that I got this sitting right here <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel subscribing is free I'm subscribing is free you guys already know it you guys have a blessed rest of your day if you guys are watching this on the weekend, which most likely you guys are because I had to post on the weekends, you guys have a blessed rest of your weekend. Peace.